Have you noticed how every time you go out, you see people with cameras taking photos of themselves, pouting in front of the camera with all of their mates? Because that's how it seems to me. And do you think it's because they're vain? Because that's how I used to think. But you know what? My thinking has changed. When I look back on my life, when I was a child, my mum was known as Polaroid Pearl because she always had a Polaroid camera in her hand. And when I was growing up, I have so many photos of me when I was little. And there are tons of photos of my sister and my brother as well. Now, back in the day, you didn't tend to see as many photos taken, probably because people didn't have the money to afford to keep paying for film to be developed. Whereas today, it's all so easy, isn't it? But my mum loved photos. And as I was growing up, we'd have little photo sessions, not taking photos, but looking at photos. She had three suitcases full of them. And there were loads of photos from when she was a child, through the war years, and on into my generation. And when we would get these photos out, she would start to tell me the stories behind the photos. She could tell you where they were at the time, who was with her, all that sort of things, what was going on, how they'd come to be there that day, and what photos they were. And it was like she was remembering her past, remembering her history, telling the stories of my family and her friends through the years. I used to love sitting down and watching her talking about these photos. But the big problem for me was that although up until I was probably 10, there were tons and tons of photos of me. From the time I got to 10, I railed against it. I didn't really like having my photo taken. I didn't like being the centre of attention. And I think that goes back to me being a bit introverted. Although when I look at the earlier photos of me, I was anything but... And for years, from my, from when I was about 11 or 12, through to when I was 20, maybe 21, there are very few photos of me. And it's sad now because when I look back, I don't remember a lot of things because I haven't the photos to go along with them. I can remember, We'd go to parties and dances and all that sort of thing. And as soon as someone got a camera out to take photos, I would walk away from it and not be in the photo. And what I've learned over the years, especially because of Facebook, a lot of my friends are on there and they post these photos from when we were teens. And I now look at them with a certain amount of envy because I'm not in any of them. I can remember the photos being taken. I can remember being with that group of people. But as soon as I saw the camera, I walked away. And now I regret it so much. And I wished that I'd done more of that when the time was right. And of course, as you get older, things change. When I got married, and then we had children, I became the family photographer. And so I have loads and loads of photos of my kids but with their mum or playing amongst themselves or with their friends there are yes there are a few of me with them but when I compare them with the amount of photos with their mum very very few and I look back and regret that I didn't have more photos taken with my boys the way photos can be taken so easily today, it makes me wonder why us elder people aren't embracing the cameras on our phones as much as the younger generations are. It's really funny because when my parents passed away, the only things I wanted were their photos. I became the custodian of the family photos i've got three suitcases downstairs full of them but as time goes on i've realized 
that once it gets past me, my boys aren't interested in way, way long ago. And they probably won't be until they've got families of their own. And I was speaking to my sister about it. And we decided that what I would do is sort out all the photos and all of our family ones and cousins things, I would put them in piles, separate them up, and then pass those photos to each family. And that's okay, I don't mind doing that, because when I took delivery of the photos, I've scanned every single one of them. So all of my mum's photos I've got in a digital format, and they're backed up as well, so I won't lose them. And so it's not so bad for me to pass these photos on to family that will cherish having them. I've started to take more photos and I think it's a good way to remember your life. So if you're younger, if you're 30, 40 and so on, start taking photos of your family. Start taking photos of your days out. Take photos of where you live because you won't believe how much places change over years. Make sure that you've got enough photos of your life. It doesn't mean, however, though, you don't have to take 1,700 photos in the toilets with your friends. <laughs> yeah, uh, I see loads of people do that. There are more photos taken inside toilets than anywhere else. But what I am saying is, use your camera a lot. Take lots of photos. Then sort through the photos and keep maybe five or six and delete the rest. The five or six best ones will remind you of your best times. For me, one of the joys is seeing those old photos. Now, with my sons, I love looking back on when they were kids, when they were little. When I see them now, I always make sure I get a photo. And I think it's important that we all do that. Get those photos of the times that you're going through now. Because in years to come, those seconds, it takes a second to take a photo. And that particular second can be a catalyst to a whole load of memories that go on. Some things that you want to remember because in time we lose those. Those little insignificant seconds sometimes that you don't realise are so much more important than you think they were at the time. And so, no, I don't begrudge all the young ones today taking their photos. When I look at it, I smile to myself now because I quite remember how I used to hide out the way so that I wasn't in them. Photos are an important part of your memories. Document your life. Take photos on a day out. Take photos anytime you're out and about. It really doesn't matter. And then keep them. But do something else. When you've catalogued them and condensed them down to great photos, don't forget to get some printed out. Because that's one of the faults I do find from today is that the majority of people no longer print their photos out. They just show you them from the phone. So use your video too. For me, these vlogs that I do on YouTube, these videos, are part of that legacy, if you like. But make sure that you do take the photos of a night time, sit down and browse through them and remember moments of your life that have been enjoyable because that's what photos do for you. And to be honest, if I didn't have so many photos, I wouldn't have memories of people like my two grandfathers because they both died before I was two years old. But I have photos that I cherish nonetheless. So if you want to remember your life, take loads of photos. But for me, there's also one other way. And that, if you click up there, is me talking to you about how music also brings back loads of memories in my life. If you've enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to share it if you'd like to. And if you've been watching for a while, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. 
Till next time, I'll see you.